Hi, my name is Julie. In order to get the best out of the water fountain, please take the time to watch this short video on assembly and care for the product, as well as some helpful hints on how to make the most of your new wireless cat water fountain. By now you will have unboxed the fountain and you will have nine components plus a cleaning brush and the instruction manual. I'll first walk you through the assembly step by step. First, take the filter and place it in a bowl of clean water for approximately five minutes to allow it to absorb water. Then, take the three litre water container and place it in the docking station with the Phenet Line logo facing forward. Once the filter is soaked, you can then take the filter housing and place the filter inside with the two holes matched up. Have the flat piece of the soaked filter facing upwards. You then place the filter housing and filter on top of the pump and water funnel. Please make sure the narrow part of the filter housing sits over the black density sponge. Once the pump, funnel and housing is assembled, place them into the base of the water tank. There is a special seat moulded into the base of the water tank to hold the filter pump. Please make sure that the black density sponge is facing towards the side wall of the tank and the white nub on the pump faces towards the main part of the tank. The pump should sit flush down into the base of the tank. The next step is to take the bezel and attach it to the top of the 3 litre tank. Do not lock the bezel clips yet. You then take the polished stainless steel tray and place it on top of the bezel. Make sure that the hole in the stainless steel tray sits over the top of the pump funnel. You can now lock the bezel clips facing them inwards and place the fountain spout into the top of the water funnel that protrudes slightly through the stainless steel tray. When it comes time to fill or refill the tank with water, please remove the fountain spout, unclip the bezel clips and remove the stainless steel tray. You then carefully remove the 3 litre tank from the docking station and fill it with water. It's important not to overfill it beyond the maximum level marked on the inside of the tank. Before you start to use the fountain, plug the power cord into the back of the docking station. Once you return the docking station on, you will see how much charge the battery has. Turn the dial to the left. This brings you to the continuous water flow mode. It's very important to note that this uses the most amount of battery, so it is strongly advisable to keep the fountain charged while using this mode. Turn to the left again, and this brings you to intermittent flow. This initiates the water flow every 30 minutes and the water will flow for one minute. Turn to the left one more time and you arrive at the sensor activation flow. Water will only flow when your pet walks in front of one of the two sensors embedded into the front of the docking station. If you turn the dial back to the top, this shuts off the fountain completely and no water will flow. At the end of the docking station, you can increase or decrease the brightness of the digital display on the front of the docking station by slowly tapping the brightness level you need. You can place the fountain anywhere in your house. However, as mentioned, continuous fountain flow is the most power hungry and this mode is recommended only when the docking station is plugged into the mains. It is also worth noting that the sensors are at the front of the fountains, so it is better to place the fountain against a wall so that your cat will approach from the front when it is on sensor activation flow. It's also worth mentioning that in order to save battery life, the digital display will go dark after 30 seconds. The display will brighten up when your cat walks towards it. The only time this does not occur is when it is fully powered down. In addition to regularly cleaning the water tank and stainless steel tray, it's also important to replace the filter and high density sponge every two weeks, as well as cleaning the pump. 
In order to do this, please remove the black high density sponge, firmly pull the funnel apart from the water pump. You then disassemble the pump by first removing the pump cover, then removing the impeller cap, and finally you use the end loop of the cleaning brush to remove the impeller. You then use cold, soapy water to clean all of the components. Please rinse well after cleaning. Once again, thank you for choosing the Feenet line cat fountain. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact one of the support team.